Hey lightweights, uh, welcome to our next episode on Metro Exodus. Uh, I think we are finally moving on to the next region of the map. Uh, the Colonel got in contact with the Ark, and I think we are headed towards them. I had said at the end of last episode that the guy who we were talking to on the radio seemed a little bit sketchy to me. I don't really trust him, but hopefully we get to meet him this episode. Uh, so at the end of the episode, if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to like, feel free to comment, turn on those notifications so we, you know when I post my next video. I am talking really fast today, sorry about that. Hopefully that will tone down a little bit when we play. Okay, let's do this thing. Okay, let's see where As we are on the map. See, we're heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Chris tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Surprising, really. Taking into account the number of priority targets there. So, we can hope for smooth sailing from here, and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. Okay, well. So, I think it's going to take us quite some time to get... Let's see. I want to see we are the approaching world. the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. Yeah. That does not sound like a good plan to me. Why would you want to go back to the Metro? I guess it's probably a little safer than out here, but... Oh, that's pretty. What's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abandoned, but the truck is okay. Over. Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I am so happy to be out of the snow! I still can't believe this. Hi, darling. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months. But for 20 years, my hair is crazy today. Sorry. I not spend in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh. Don't say that. I think this is creepier. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on. Passengers, get inside and fill up tight. Yes, of course. Come on, Master. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for our team and me. Roger that, How about sir. me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us. Or else I'll never hear the end of it. A <laughs> wise decision. Gurmak, stop the engine. I get to explore a little bit. Take the Aurora back to the safe zone and sit tight there. We know that right now. Get on. You're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. This place. Where's the Moscow? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, it does look a little dead. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. A lot. Your 
guys used to have three M500 ones too. Even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> I need to look up Sam's backstory. Is our train gonna fit through here? Look at all those cars. Martin was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they work. Nobody came from Moscow. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. Guys, I'm nervous. I have such a bad feeling about this. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know what to do. This is a bad place. Now, we shouldn't have come here. Really? Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Oh, I do not like this. Yeah, same crest. Why is it so deserted here? Gun placements, no patrols, not even lookouts. Why would they need any of that? A nuclear warhead couldn't take it out. Oh, Miller, I think you're blinded. figure out how to get off that damn thing. Whew. Here goes nothing. So quiet. Did you at least prepare a speech? Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. I think you should listen to me now. We should not be here. Here goes nothing! This is bad, guys. Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Oh! Oh! 
Oh, shit. Anna! Come on, Artia! is bad. I knew it, guys! <laughs> what are they gonna do to us? What the... Where am I? Where are the others? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. Who are you? So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense, now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Oh, they're gonna eat us! They're cannibals! Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. <coughs> well, this... The government... Answer. All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down. We'll be jaundiced like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough I'll tie hands. my hands, you motherfucker, and I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. I love Where her. Where is that young man, does? He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! Oh, Anna. <laughs> So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? Don't do it, Miller. And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Oh. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here. Oh, your no. Every last one of you should have done that before the war. Oh, thank God. Now we'll be fooled again. Oh, you're so creepy! <sighs> Artyom, get up and help! Why can't I do anything? Here. Thank you, Sam. Colonel, sir. I think that's not true, Sam. But it is not. We have to get them. But first, we must find Anna. Sorry, I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Hey, Stop the main elevator for us!
I'm totally this. human anymore. Oh yes. Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same exactly. True. That's quite fortunate. This way we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So we'll have to split up. Oh I don't like that plan. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Ugh. Idiot, you come with me to the command. Wait, <laughs> Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Why do you get to stay together and I have to go by myself? <laughs> uh. Let's go. Your floor, Artyom. Damn it. Okay. What does this say? Um. Okay, here goes nothing. This is totally creepy. <laughs> Jesus. You pieces of shit. You can't have me and you can't have my wife. I'm digging this music. government. Were they ever here, I wonder? Or did they just go crazy? Artyom, have you found her yet? Hurry up! Every second counts! I'm trying! 
dying. I got stuck. <laughs> Kick it in. are fucking creepy. What does it want me to pick up over here? Oh. Oh! Yikes. The meat locker. Bodies are getting in the way. Oh, this is totally disgusting. through here. does not really help all that much now, does it? dancing on the floor. Cut that out. Uh, maybe if I put this on? Let's save before we try that. Oh, I can go up. Okay. We'll do that instead. There's a rat. I don't think he'll bother me. Okay, here goes nothing. Yeah. 
Headshot. I was already saving for me. Thank you, game. Ew. Shoe fly. Don't bother me. Gotta take all the stuff I can get. Ooh, he's got a head in his fridge. Ooh. Poor guy. Definitely likes his naked ladies. me in here. Not a whole lot. Oops. I thought it was on, but it wasn't. Did I go in here yet? I don't think so. Some bullets. Nothing I want over there. Okay. Ugh. I don't know what that says. Okay. Um, that's where it came from. Go. Sometimes I just wish I was Ezio and I could just climb up there. Attention, Spartan! The command center is ours! Rally here if comms fail, idiot! Figure out the door and lift control. Lock down all the passages we don't need. Let those freaks run around! You can't get me. Where do they take Anna?
this. Officially out of health packs. These people are like rats, they come out of the woodwork. Okay. Nobody else can run it out at me. I will take all that, please. Is there anything else up here I can get? No, I don't think so. What does this do? Does that even affect you? Oh, come on, you 
Okay. This is bad time for this to die. I'm leaning trying to see him and I... <laughs> it's not gonna do anything for me. Okay. Catch on fire, you asshole. Oh shit. Oh shit! Ah! I caught myself on fire. to catch myself on fire this time. Maybe... Maybe I use this one. Probably 20 tries, and I'm not even exaggerating. I have no bullets left. I think I was down to 10, 10 shots left, I think. Ah! You were the worst! <sighs> okay. It's okay. Because we did it. collect all the bullets. I think that was everything I had found in one of my 20 playthroughs. I looted you. God, I did not like that. Fuck. Seriously? You gotta be quicker on the reload, but
I hate this so much. So much. I don't know how many, how they keep so many people living in here. Also, I should be able to loot you with how difficult you were. Yeah, I'm struggling big time. Okay, we're just going to save once more. That's one way to do it. Save every time I kill somebody. Seriously, this place is the worst. I must be getting close though. This is what I tell myself. Danger. I wonder what's in there. Apparently that person just decided to run away. Ooh. Somewhere. Where is it? Hello? There it is. It's been a month already since we became rats in a hole here, and what do we have to show for that? We don't even know if anyone's still alive out there. All the antennas were destroyed. Radiation levels are so high there's no way to fix them. Even if the antennas were okay, would anyone have reason to contact us? Big wigs never arrived. Ooh. Construction workers are right. We better get ourselves comfortable. We're here for the long run. Those idiots in that council of theirs, I would forgive the workers if they came up with bullshit like that, but why do the officers want to play those games? Um, cutting the rations. Doctor's right. Radio technicians are here for a reason. They send us food shipments and then the ARC project will provide a shelter from radiation for all the survivors and what could be more important now? Hmm. I'm gonna throw my controller. Get him? I think I got him. I killed 90 cannibals. Fuck yeah, I did. Okay, let me go get... Did that book save? It did. Oh, good. That's good to know. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Okay, these things have a knack of popping up out of nowhere. 
my gosh, I have hairs everywhere all over my face. <laughs> An explosive chatter. <laughs> you go, Anna. Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Are you all right? Let's report to the Colonel. Okay. Oh. Dad. Uh. It's me. In the sick bay, Artyom found me. Okay. Not too fast though. I need to catch my breath. Great, that means there's gonna be lots more. God. For cannibals, they sure have a lot of meat go to waste. Oh shit. Boys are still alive. Alyosha even smiled when I told him. Don't we have an Alyosha on our ship? Er, train? See we'll get supplies. Not too late yet. Everything will be fine now. Refugees are quarantined. Heard the quarantine will last longer than we thought. Brought some bug with them. We've been given meat broth for now. Ew. My whole body feels warm and the taste unforgettable. Oh, I don't get this second group of refugees. They also brought supplies. But it's just the meat, no grains. Oh, they didn't realize they were. Blech. It's only been two weeks already. I can think about food. Nothing but food. It doesn't make any same rations for a month. Two more weeks, legs are swollen. Oh, I already read that. Frank conversation with Doc, he obliged for an old friendship's sake. So he didn't realize he was a cannibal at first. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that's Zelantius with his damn fanatics. <sighs> Yeah, we're in for a, an interesting ride. But no, it appears there was still space for growth. We could have got killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see uh. what happens now. We did survive him, after all. Anna, you are not looking so good. Who knew these, these creatures kept eating people for 20 years? 
Could you imagine that? Something big is gonna happen, guys. The minister was going to see me. You can see me before the place. Is there anything there I could find? Probably shouldn't go far. Let's get out of here. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on. Okay, all done. Let's go save Sam. He's my favorite. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. She's got a point, dude. Stop at the end. And I would say from this height, it is quite a sudden stop. Okay, let's go, idiot. Get us out of here.
Oh, to think I believe those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! Well? I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. No, that's a bad idea. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites! What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? <laughs> There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos oh, can Anna. really help us out here. That's an idea. That's a good idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? Bella point. I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Sound the horn then. <laughs> Yo, spoiled dinner. That's just rude. Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Don't say that. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know. But what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. All right, that's it for that episode. Thank God. Um, those cannibals, not the friendliest. Nope, not at all. Um, that big guy with the... I don't know, machine gun? What? What is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, if you have strategies on how to beat them, because I have a feeling he's not going to be the only one I run into, please, please drop a comment. Let me know, because that took me way too long. It was way too challenging. I tried shooting him in the head. I tried shooting him in the back. I tried shooting him in the legs. Nothing worked. I threw bombs. I threw molotovs. It, I don't know. So give me a hint for next time, because that was way too challenging. I am definitely glad we're moving on. Uh, that level was much more linear than the previous level, so I hope we get back to more of an open world kind of feel uh, so we can do some more exploring. Um, hopefully this Caspian 1 gives us an indication of where we can go. I'd really like to just be in one spot. I don't know if that's going to happen this game or if we'll just be constantly on the Aurora, who knows. Um, but it would be cool to try to set up that colony that RTM had been talking about as long as I get to explore some more. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. So, like always, feel free to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on that notification button if you haven't done so already so that you know when I post my next video. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Um, your support really means a lot. Feel free to comment below. Let me know if you have any pointers on anything, not just that big heavy guy. And have a great day.